Hey everybody, this is what we're gonna be drawing in class today. Okay, this is the jumping fish. You'll find this on Google Classroom, okay? Oops, let me turn that down a little bit. So you'll find this image on Google Classroom. I have a, uh, uh, there's also a bear there, but we're, we're focusing on the fish, okay? It's in a PowerPoint, so you can look at it a little bit closer, but there's also a smaller, smaller picture there. Um, but basically, you know, again, this is what we're gonna do in class. This is gonna be, you know, um, a finished sketch, okay? So, um, I'm just gonna block off a space to work in, and I'll make sure to date this the 25th, 9-25-20. Now, with this, okay, um, again, when we look at the fish itself, Remember, we're thinking about breaking down, you know, the image into its basic shapes so we can get the gesture of the fish looking like it's popping out of the water. There's a lot of movement going on here. The fish is actually like a, you know, the, if we think of this as a line, this is a curved line all the way through here, which expresses a lot of, uh, a lot of energetic movement because the fish, again, is popping out of the water, okay? So... Again, we have to use our photographic reference to make the drawing look good. We don't want to, you know, trust what our imagination is telling us. For this, we want to trust what our eyes are seeing. So we want to use the photograph as reference because we want to work today with, you know, making the sketch, but we're getting into textures as well. And this is an amazing, you know, texture that we have in here. Not only do we have the scales kind of a little bit on the fish, that we can barely see. But this is where we're gonna focus most of our texture work on in here, all these wonderful values and stuff that we see in here. So when I come to my sketchbook, again, I just marked off a space, and then I'm gonna look and see where that horizon or that horizon line is. So basically, this is the edge of our water, okay? And so then all of this is where, you know, the splashing and and again, I'm just gonna look at it very carefully, just trying to get kind of an idea of what's going on, okay? Not too hard, again, just kind of using the edge of my lid, making some of the lines, some of the contours that I'm seeing that are really standing out. Might have made my, might have made it a little too, might have to extend this up a little bit, but, and then we see the water splashing Oh, there's so many nice values in here. Matter of fact, uh, do I have my, no, I don't have an eraser. So again, I might just have to draw right over top of this line. But we're coming up like this. And then when we look at the fish, you know, look and see where it is in relation to everything. Okay, popping out. Okay, and then that fish shape, looking, you know, Look and see how it's going. Just like that. Okay, and that's basically just this, that's the shape. And then from here, we can go and we can add again, that's the top fin. Here's that, here's this. And then here we have the tail. Okay, it's kind of like this. Gotta forgive Mr. Middleton, this is my first drawing of the morning, okay? Then we're gonna go along that shape line and we're going to refine it and make it closer to what we actually see, okay? And that's where that eye is right here. Okay, and there's the gill, all right? Again, we, we will get this closer together when we work in class today. I'll take this. Add just a little bit of shading. So you see how I just started with the shape, okay? And the fish is really easy. You know, it's just kind of like that teardrop kind of shape going at an angle. And then I'm gonna look at the surface of the fish and where you see like the it looks like it's red, orange, yellow, orange, and yellow. We can translate that or think of that in terms of just gray value. Some are light, some are dark. 
So like the yellow that you see on the fish could be your lightest value. And then your yellow orange could be your next darkest value. And then your red orange, like here on the top, would be your darkest value when you shave. See, values are very important when we draw because that's what's gonna make your pictures successful. That's what's gonna make your picture enjoyable to look at. Now my tail back here is looking kind of weird, so I gotta fix that. Okay. And yeah, I kind of like that. Here's the bottom. We're just working at getting everything kind of looking the way it looks in the picture. Now, for those of you that have uh, color pencils at home, you know, you would, you know, I don't mind if you try this in color pencil, that would be pretty awesome. The base would be yellow, and then you would uh, blend yellow orange where you see the yellow orange spots, and then you would cap it off with some red orange where it's the darkest spots. So, and if you wanted to add a little bit of emphasis or you wanted to add some edges or, you know, where you see like around the eyes and stuff, instead of using black, maybe try using brown, okay? So it won't look as uh, unnatural, okay? So if you wanted to do that in color, but if you, you know, don't want to use color, that's fine. Again, we can, again, translate the values that we see into gray tone. Just some are light, some are dark, some are medium. You know, your darkest dark to your lightest light. Okay. So we kind of have that. And then in class, we're going to get into, because I don't want to make the video too long because it takes too long to upload. But then we're going to go in here and we're going to work on this water. Okay, I really want to focus on this water texture today. Okay, because um, this is kind of challenging. And again, we're art two. And, and art one, you know, this video, I'm going to post this video in art one as well, I think. So, again, we're just going to work on bringing out the different values and stuff again in the water. Now, if, again, if you have color pencil at home, um, you might try this with your uh, uh, light blue and then uh, uh, blue violet. Okay, that would probably work, light blue. Um, you know, again, it all depends on what kind of color pencils you have. Um, but generally, again, when we color with color pencil, we think about the color wheel, the base color blue, and then you have the two colors on either side of it. So if we had blue, on one side we would have blue green, and the other side we would have blue violet. So when we shade, you know, we identify that base color, and then before we go to using black, we use the darker versions of the existing color, like would be blue green or blue violet. But when we look at the source picture, you know, there's a hint. So I think blue violet would work good in here, but not necessarily blue green. So you might just use, you know, less pressure on your pencil to create this gradient here. And then, you know, it would be, you know, various uh, pencil pressures with the blue all throughout the water. But then you could take the blue violet and bring out those darker spots and those darker areas like you see with my pencil going over, okay? So again, we'll cover this more in class, everybody. It's already gonna take a few hours to upload this video. So I'll see you later, bye.